Hey guys, this is Gloria. So I am here because I wanted to share with you guys um, how I created these different color flowers here. And um, these are crepe paper flowers and this one is in peach and at, um, and like a mint green kind of color. I didn't have either one of those colors here at home but um, I wanted to make a flower out of those colors to use on embellishments such as this box that I created. This is a card box by, I think this is Lori Woodlock and you can find this on the Silhouette website. And um, it's used to hold um, A2 size cards and so um, I wanted an embellishment that would match it and since I didn't have the crepe paper I figured I would um, try to dye some. So I just wanted to show you guys how I actually dyed this crepe paper and it looks really cute on projects and stuff and very very inexpensive. Um, so let me just get to it. Um, so the other day I showed you guys how to make the actual crepe paper flowers and so today I just want to show you um, how I went about dyeing my crepe paper. So I have this white crepe paper like this and this comes from the Dollar Tree. You get two uh, nice size rolls for one dollar in a pack and um, they're very limited on color so um, you know you want to um, if you want to make your own colors you can try this technique. Um, the first technique that I used um, I used this watercolor set which is very inexpensive um, I purchased this from Michaels and I used the coupon it's regular price $4.99 it has some really really pretty colors in it and um, I think I got it for like $2.50 or maybe even less than that so really cool and really pretty colors in here um, another technique that I also used was to use my um, Recollection Simply Pastel colors and this one is like the mint green and I haven't used these in a long long time but they're super pretty and very easy to use as well. Um, I think that I do like the um, spray better than the watercolor because the watercolor kind of produces like a um, like a more matte finish. This is one that I did with the watercolors and it's a very matte finish on here. It looks cute as well, but I think that the um, sprays actually give a better vibrant color. This um, flower on this box is actually the sprays and it's much more vibrant and prettier to me than the, um, the watercolor one. But you can try either one that you want. I've also heard of people using alcohol ink to do theirs and um, you know, so it just depends on what you like. Uh, so the first thing that I would do, you know, if, if you want it just to be straight, a straight flower, then you can just dye it just like it is straight. Or um, in my in my case, I would want one that has like petals that look like this. So what you wanna do is you wanna fold your crepe paper first and you wanna make sure that um, you have at least um, eight folds. So right now that's three, four, five six seven eight so you just want to make sure that you have at least um, eight folds and so what you're going to do is you can either use your um, decorative scissors um, this is a cloud scissor here and it makes some little scallops or you can use just your regular scissors on this one I use the um, scallop scissors and it makes a really cute flower um, but I like just using regular scissors. And so what I would do is I would start at the edge and depending on how long you want your petals is how you're gonna cut it. And you're gonna cut it first because um, once you know once it get, gets wet, you can't go back and cut it until it dries again. So you can do it, you know, when you, you know, either way you want, but I just like to do it first. And just remember that last one is going to be okay even though it's tiny um, because we didn't cut all the way to the end so it'll be a petal as well so that is that and then what you're going to do depending on what you want to do you're going to either mix up your watercolors or you're going to um, spray on your ink so what I'll do is I'll cut this in half and we'll use half for watercolor and then half for the ink so the ink is um, pretty easy. All you're gonna do is just take your piece of crepe paper and you're gonna take whichever ink 
you want to use. My top went flying across the room. But you're going to just spray your crepe paper. And it's okay. It's going to be a little damp. But after you finish spraying it and making sure that it's um, colored, especially on the tips, you want the tips to be really colored, even if the base part is not as colored. Because you're going to... You're gonna cover that base part with um, with uh, a, a, a flower center anyway. So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this wet piece and you're just gonna lay it out somewhere flat. And what I do is I just dangle it off the side of my desk over here and, um, and then just let it dry. And I use these baby wipes to just kind of wipe up my mess or you can, you could have ran another piece of crepe paper through that um, ink. And so I'm just gonna clean this up and then we're gonna bring in the watercolor and so um, it doesn't take very long for those to dry but we're gonna move on to the watercolor one so what you're gonna do for the watercolor is choose whichever color you want out of your little palette here and you know any color that you mix with white is actually going to make the color lighter um, so what I do is I just dip my brush in the water first and then I go to my watercolor and I'm just going to pick up um, some of this light kind of peachy color and the reason why this color is so light is because I've already added white to it but I'm going to pick that up, clean my brush up a little bit and I'm gonna pick up this peachy kind of coral color because that's the color that I wanted it to be was like a corally color and I'm just picking it up out of my um, little paint thing over here adding more water so that I can get more paint to come out of there and whenever you are um, happy with the color then you can stop um, but you want to make sure that you get enough water and paint down there on your little mat so that you'll have enough ink to use. Okay. So just put enough on there. And remember, um, watercolor, this watercolor actually dries more matte. So, you know. But what you're going to try to do is you're going to try to get the ink as close to the edge of the petals as possible because that's what's going to show and all you're going to do is just paint it on just like that and I like this technique because you can kind of control I hope I'm in frame but you can kind of control where the paint is actually going you don't need to take it all the way down to the bottom because like I said the bottom is going to be covered with a, a center so you really don't have to worry about that and you're just going to keep going down your entire piece until it is covered with as much paint as you want it to be covered with. And then this way, you'll have whatever color you need for your project instead of trying to find um, colors because the colors are like far and in between I'll tell you that like I went to the Dollar Tree and tried to find um, different colors and stuff and they don't have that many different colors I actually did order um, some colors off of Etsy and um, of course they weren't a dollar but that's okay that's the price you pay when you want different things that are no longer in the stores but this is a fun and quick and easy way to to make any color that you want so these have to actually dry so when they dry I will come back and share with you guys um, you know the the two different ones that we just created and I'm just using up the rest of the paint and stuff and just trying to you know just using up the rest of the paint so that's about uh -oh, that's about it that's all you're going to do is just paint the bottoms of that and that's how that's going to look and then you're going to lay that out as well and let that dry and again I just put it on the edge of my desk and let it dry and then I'll be back to share with you guys what the finished product looks like hey guys this is Gloria so I am back 
to share with you guys um, the completed dyed crepe paper. Um, so this is the teal one and I'm not sure if you guys can see it or not but there is like a little bit of a shimmer to this one and um, this one if you guys remember was done with uh, the Recollections spray ink and this is a mint color so that's how that one came out and then this is the um, watercolored um, where I mix the orange with the white to kind of make a coral type of color and this one is more matte compared to this one I don't know if you guys can see that or not but one is more matte and one is more um, of a shimmer but it still looks great together so um, what I normally do is um, either I would um, if this was um, one long continuous piece um, the way it was in the beginning about um, what 22 23 inches then I would cut in between each third petal and I would produce a flower that looks similar to this one right here which I showed you earlier on um, but because we cut it in half in order to um, show you the difference in the two inks then you know it's a shorter piece so what you can do is you can grab a I just have a circle that was cut out of my um, scraps and I normally put some glue runner on the back or you can use a hot glue gun whichever one um, you're comfortable with and what I'm gonna try to do is um, first I want to cut the end of this one and figure out which side is the right side because one side is a little bit more ink than the other and then I'm gonna try to put sorry for my reach but I'm gonna try to put a little bit of tape runner on one side and put this together and I'm going to try to make kind of like a circle out of it so that I can kind of make a rosette because I don't have enough of this to um, to cut into you know pieces or whatever so I'm just scrunching it up in the middle and you know fluffing it back out where it needs to be fluffed back out and I'm kind of just balling it up and drawing that middle portion inward and I don't know if it's gonna work or not but you know crepe paper is so inexpensive that shouldn't be a problem if we mess up then we just get another piece and start all over again but you just kind of crunch it up in the middle and then fluff the feathers or not feathers but the but the little leaves back out and it's crepe paper is very forgiving so if you don't get it the first time just you know come back and try to get it again and just try to make like a like an oval shape to it and then what I'm going to do is just um, put this little disc on there on the back and it's not perfect but it'll work I think and so the next thing that we could do with this is we could put it on top of another um, you know flowered um, piece and this one I did with yellow and so that's how that looks and in this one I did do the the you know the different petals and then we'll just set that right on top of the yellow one and then all we need is a center and I'm just looking in my box trying to find a little center for it I'm not sure if I have any more punched out gold circles which works the best here's a silver circle but um, we'll go with this gold square and so um, just put a little bit of um, tape runner on it and stick it right in the middle and then on top of that we could put uh, another little 
I'm gonna put another little flower center or a little circle on there. And that's about it. And so then all you would have to do is go back and cut any loose little ends that you wanna kinda of trim up. Just kinda, of, you know, go around with your scissors and trim them up a bit. And that's about it. Um, uh oh, I tore that one up, but you just kind of fluff it around until it looks like what you need it to look like. And that is about it. And then you can take that and put it on a project. You can also layer another flower right on top of that. Um, you know, it's up to you. So like if this was my project, I could just put that on top of there and then put a sentiment on top of that and call it a day. So um, I hope I was in frame and I hope um, that you guys understood what I was talking about. And if you have any other questions or comments, please leave them down below and I'll get back with you as soon as I possibly can. Take care guys. Bye.